there is a room for great improvement to what the church has been doing to build the youth because without the youth, the church of God, we have a bleak future. Hence, the need for the church to encourage them in the areas of counseling, education, and employment. This was the assertion of the Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Akoko Edo, His Lordship, the Right Reverend Jolly Oyekwen, during an interview with ACNA news correspondent Nwane Ogechuku. According to the cleric, when the youths are left to themselves, they will hinge on to serve advice and counseling, which will not be healthy for the growth of the church and the propagation of the gospel. The church cannot be accused of slacking in her duty towards the youth, but there is great room for improvement. First of all, we must recognize that basic fact which is known that without the youths, the church of tomorrow is having a blink future. For that reason, we must take them very seriously. We need to encourage them in the area of counseling. Many of our youths don't have the desired counseling, and so they take decisions based on their experiences and exposure. So we must be ready to put our feet down and encourage our youths, counsel them on the right attitude towards life. Bishop Oyekwen also called on church fathers to endeavor to mobilize the youths when there is any program organized for them, stressing that programs organized by the church for the youths is to help them grow spiritually, physically, and otherwise. There are a lot of programs that have been put in place for our youths. But it will amaze you that some of these youths have to go all around looking for sponsorship to be able to attend these programs. I am appealing to our church fathers if they can create a space in the budget of their dioceses and provinces to make sure that delegates from our youth angle attend all the church programs that they should attend like our national conferences, the JEP1, JEP1, JEP2, or JEP3 conferences, where we sit them down to teach them some of the basic things they need to know about life and spirituality. The cleric also called for more job creation for the youths, which according to him, will help to impact the church and the nation. Speaking to the youths, Bishop Oyekman urged them to hold on to God because God never fails. Create job situation for them. We have our members in different positions in our society. It will be proper for us to be able to place these youths so that they will know the church cares for them. By so doing, they will also be able to help the church because when it comes to their time, they, if they are well empowered, then they can empower the church. Whatever God has proposed for them will always come to pass. All God demands from them is dedication, total submission to his will. And by so doing, they will be able to fulfill God's will for their lives. 